Hello everybody, this is your manicure practical class. I hope you enjoyed this video. First, we're going to soak our client's hands in warm water and hand soap. And then we're going to dry our client's hands with a paper towel. Now we have set up. So I've set up the desk with our nail polish, our files, our emery boards and our cotton discs. First thing we're going to do is filing. So remember, we go side to centre. So we support the finger and go from side to centre, side to centre, side to centre, side to centre. And take your time doing this. And then support the thumb, side to centre, side to centre. And do this for all ten fingers. My client wanted to have a little bit longer length on their nails. So be careful at the sides that you don't cut your client. So if your client has shorter nails at the sides, just go a little bit slower so you don't cut them with the emery board. So as you can see, my mother has henna on her hands that I did for her because we were bored. Um, and just keep continuing on for both hands, side to centre, side to centre. Now, so hoof sticks for cuticles. I didn't have a wooden hoof stick, so I'm going to do it with a cotton bud to show you. So this is what you don't do. You don't scratch the surface. You press it down and push the cuticles up. So you're pushing upwards towards the cuticles, no scratching. Now, buffing is the next step. So we're going to use our buffer that has four sides. And obviously, we're going to use number one first. So back and forth, back and forth, very slowly and gentle. These buffers are designed that they don't scratch your client's hands and they don't have sharp corners. Just make sure your one does as well. So this is step one. We're going to buff the nail. Keep going nice and gently. So continue on for all 10 fingers. This buffer doesn't have a sharp corner. It's specially designed so it doesn't scratch your client. Make sure your one doesn't have a sharp corner either. And continue on for all 10 fingers, including the two thumbs. And here's the difference. So on this one here isn't buffed and this one here is. You can see it's a little bit brighter. And now we're going to move on to buffer number two, which is less abrasive. That means it's not as strong as number one. So you're getting a kind of a smoother finish than number three. This is the polished one. This is going to give a little bit more shine. And keep doing this for all 10 fingers. Keep going along until you have all 10 fingers done. And then the last one is number four, which is shine. So we're going to keep doing that for all 10 fingers. And with the shine one, it's very soft, so you can rub it along the surface. Just make sure you don't do it too fast. Now, so we're going to remove any of the dust from the nails by using a little bit of nail polish remover. Just apply that along each finger. So you want to have the hands nice and clean for when the polish application is happening so there's no dust on the fingers. So any hangnails. So hangnails are little pieces of skin that stick out from your cuticle and they can be quite sore. So I'm using a really small nail clippers to get away any hangnails that are there. So the next step then is polish. So I have a top coat and a base coat built in and then my color polish. So base coat. You're going to apply the base coat in a stripe down the center, a stripe down the side and a stripe down the other side. And take your time. Go very slowly and we're going to extract the nail polish and scrape one side of the brush off so there's not lots of nail polish on the brush and again down the center along the side and again on the side and take your time with this step so make sure you do all 10 fingers and while you're doing the thumb make sure your thumb is being supported by your hand. There you go. So the first application of color polish, I picked this color coral color for my client. And again, make sure you scrape off one side of the brush very well. 
you'll see one side looks black and one side has the color on it and take your time and put it onto the finger press up a bit and then bring it down the nail and again on the side and again on the other side so it's three steps if you make a mistake please don't go back in with a brush and you'll see here again press down a little bit up and bring it down the nail along the side and along the other side so this isn't actually perfect there's a little bit of a gap there that's been left and i'm not going to touch it i'm going to get that in the second coat so don't go back in with your brush now you only do three steps down the center along the side and along the side and again scraping off one side of the brush so the black side is facing up to you when you go down the nail along the side and along the other side so i've done all eight fingers and i'm going to do the two thumbs so again support the thumb and press down nice and wide on the brush so you get loads of coverage and then the side of the nail and then the other side of the nail and now with the thumb resist the urge to go back in because it's not perfect but your first application won't look perfect anyway most of the time you will get some nail polish on your client so don't panic if you do make a mistake it's easy to fix so i want to apply a little bit of extra nail polish onto the skin to make a mistake you can see it right there and that's quite common it happens all the time you're going to get a q-tip or a cotton bud and you're going to soak it in some nail polish remover and you're going to just slightly rub it back and forth until the nail polish comes off the skin i like to do this when the nail polish is wet i find it sometimes harder to take it off when the nail polish is dry there you go it's all gone just make sure it's all nice and dry now so for color polish the second application this really makes a huge difference again make sure you scrape off all the excess from one side of the brush and then you have one side of the brush that's nice and coated and then you again go down the center along the side and along the side and see the difference it's nice and bright and you have full coverage so you can't actually see the nail bed underneath it again scrape off the excess and this is the nail i made a mistake on so down the center and make sure we get the coverage of where the mistake was right there and there you go it's covered and now the other side and that's it do that for all fingers and then when that's dry we'll just double check it by using our hands so we can press down on the nail with our finger just to see the dry and it's completely bone dry if any of the nails are very wet don't continue on with this step make sure the nails are dry most nail polishes will dry quite quickly especially the newer ones and then just again down the center down the side and down the side and then complete that task for all of the nails and this will help the nails polish last longer and it stops from chipping beautiful And now you should have a very happy client. So you can add some cuticle oil or some hand cream or whatever your client prefers when the nails are fully dry. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial.